basically what I do is every morning I wall myself in behind the counter with books that have just arrived and by the afternoon they're on the shelves. That's basically what I do. My name is John Dillman. Uh, I'm co-owner with my wife of uh, Kaboom Books. It's a medium-sized shop uh, consisting of 130,000 books in 84 sections that are um, selected on the basis of the limitations on my knowledge. And the idea behind it is to sluice books through with as much rapidity as is possible. There's no filler here at all. You can't afford to just pack stuff in without a thought. You have to really think about how you're, how you're moving stuff out. And I'm the least intuitive of people, but I do have an intuitive sense of when the inventory is overbalanced or is underbalanced, you know. So a little ping goes off in the back of my head where I think, oh, you know, I got to build that back up again. Honestly, my idea of the bookstore is that it presents the local society with choices that they might not otherwise have in terms of the books, but it's the ideas that are in the books that are most of interest to me. I don't go out of the way to get in people's faces, but I do want them to appreciate ideas that they maybe would not have considered before. Without books, <clears throat> we'd have music, we'd have poetry, we've had, we've, we would have a, some sort of uh, 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 theater, but, uh, but we would, what we wouldn't have is history. And, and so basically uh, we wouldn't know that that river that we just crossed was the Rubicon, you know, that sort of thing. The swirl of ideas that, that pass through a, uh, a bookstore in people's minds and their conversations and my pushing them is is the most rewarding thing honestly you know because you can physically see it get out into the community.